Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting video today. The flares for Alex Carr, they came in. They're right here. So we're gonna unbox these. These came from Monster Service. Shout out to Monster Service for helping us out with his build. I know a lot of people like him, so we're checking them out today. Okay, so for those of you guys who are familiar with clinched fender flares, they're like ABS plastic over fenders and stuff like that. These are the same exact thing. I believe they're made out of the same exact material. I know they're ABS plastic. I don't know if they're made the same exact way, but they're plastic. The cool thing about that is that they're shapeable and they're moldable to any body style. The thing that I like about these a lot better than the clinched flares, these monster service flares, they have a shape. They look like an actual like over body, like wide fender flare. Look it. Like you see this, this looks like an actual wide body kit. Now the reason that's sick is because you can literally stick this on any car and build your own kit essentially. Now these are the biggest ones that they offer. I think they're 74 millimeters and when we get them on the car today for Alec, we're gonna decide whether or not we're gonna do the same size in the front as we are in the rear. Now when you order flares from Monster Service, they come in the pairs, so heads up. All right, we got Alec's car here. We got the ST here, we got the flares. Look at we're mocking these things up. Look how good this is. Monster Service. If anybody has like an ST, dude, these Monster Service flares, these fit the car so nice. Like, comes right with the, we gotta darken this up a little bit because you can't see the body lines. But you see this body line right here at the ground? It follows this body line right here. It's kind of hard to see in the camera. Follows that body line and then it comes up and also meets up with these body lines right here that the ST has. And it really, it looks nice. I'm super hyped. Are you hyped, Alec? Oh yeah, let's get to it. Yeah. All right, so right now, I have Alec taping up all the stuff right here because what we're gonna do is always when you wide body stuff, you wanna drill out all your holes. You wanna mask it up and like mark it up to where you wanna go. And then you're gonna put your Sharpie marks where you wanna drill out your holes. For Alec's car, normally what you have to do when you're doing these universal kits, but the cool thing about this monster uh, service kit or it's not even a kit, they're universal fender flares. They fit really, really nicely on this ST. It literally lines up right with the body line right here at the at the bottom where the side skirt goes. So we literally, all we have to do is just square up the side skirt right where the fender goes and it's pretty much done. So we don't even need to measure the back because it's there's only one spot for it to go, really. Talking about this straight edge right here at the bottom is gonna line up. Move your head, Alec. Oh, don't shot. Yeah, it's literally gonna line up just like that. Perfect. Flush. Sick. Our first hole. So I'm checking Alex Flares. Not my car. It's not my van. Oh wait. It is my car. Yeah, that's not even dead center, Mr. OCD. It's pretty damn close. Look at it. <laughs> what? What? If you're the one doing it, if you're unhappy with it, you don't blame yourself. <laughs> Boom. I think like right there, what do you think? Yeah? We honestly missed all the tape off there. <laughs> Every single person we tape on the table. <laughs> are you are you filming that? Yeah. All the tape we just did outlined in the car we just this one's coming. Into your door. Okay. Now give me that Alan. I didn't go that deep. Alright, cool. Zit no! Actually. You know thinking. You're thinking yeah. I was I, honestly I was afraid of that. I was thinking the same thing. So let's go have a look under underneath the skis. I don't know how he's gonna edit that. So when the armor is feeling it has tattoos on it. I got tattoos on it. Yeah, you got tattoos. And you're clearly going to see the guy that drilled that. Had arms that look like that. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
you guys thought I was like joking around right now, but I'm like legit hyped about this because it's like literally, there's no gaps. If you guys ever have seen clinched flares up and personal, like there's normally a gap in between right here. There's only a gap right here right now because there's nothing screwed in right here. But when that gets screwed in, it's gonna lay completely flat and it's gonna be sick. Uh, we actually might get a little bit of the a flip up right here because of the tension. When we cut this, there's not gonna be any screw right here. RIP ME! <laughs> that whole time we were talking without the fucking microphone on, so sick. I was saying, Monster Services flares, these things, these universal kits, because of the shape, the way that they're shaped, they fit on cards really, really well. These are the best universal flares I've ever put on, and if you guys are looking to build like your own kit, Monster Service is the way to go. One, they look great, and the fitment is amazing. What I mean by that is you guys saw, I didn't use any heat, I didn't use any heat gun or anything, and um, look at this fitment right now like do you see this Woo, baby look at all the way across no panel gaps even fit the contour of this body line down right here oh my god i don't want people coming into my work you dig but you don't even have your shirt on bro yes i do how can people can't even tell nah. if anybody can name where he works <laughs> without knowing. Give, give me, give me, show people where you work harder. Come on. <laughs> okay, yeah. We so gotta find him. Look at that. We got his, his shirt. Go get, go get uh, juices from your boy. Go, baby. Time to drill some more holes. Your time, bitch. Hold on. I thought you were about to watch him. I'm gonna tap it a little bit. I know this thing doesn't go all the way like that. Right. Last time that didn't go straight through, but it went straight through on this one. Okay, man. The monster service with that perfect fitment. Look at this. All the way around. Seamless. This thing is so nice. I don't even know how to explain this. So last night there's a lot of stuff that you guys missed because we were kind of running on a, on a time crunch to get it done as well as we are losing daylight pretty fast. So what we did is we painted the fenders, uh, we bolted them on, we cut the slit in the door. That's probably I think the last thing that you saw me doing was cutting the slit in the door. And um, everything was going, going great, cutting the slit in the door, it came out in nice perfect shape. Um, we bolted it back on the car and that's where we had a lot of problems last night. That's something we didn't show you guys and we'll show you guys um, right now and what I mean on the other side when we do the other side right now. So you see how um, we have this nice body line right here so that we can make this door functional. Um, yeah, a big thing about these fender flares is when you push them onto a body because they're ABS plastic, right, you can kind of form it to the body. Now, a big thing about that is when you cut into it, like after you formed it onto the body and you cut into it so that the door works, there's a lot of stress in there. Um, that was not accounted for. So when we bolted it back onto the door and sanded it to make these things like the door functional so it can open and close and not catch on itself, there's a lot of tension and they did not meet up together at all whatsoever. This part, this part on the door was sunken in a whole lot and this part that's on the, on the fender itself was flared out a lot and it literally looked like he had a big ass side vent, literally like a vent, like an air vent on the side and it looked like Shit. And, and now we got it right here where it's got a nice door seam. The way that we did that is we had to create these brackets. You can't see them because they're like covered in a, let me see. So we created brackets in here. Um, they're held in by tape right now. That's just temporary. But um, we created these metal brackets that like were, were folded like in a sandwich shape like this. And they're putting pressure on the flare so that one, it's rigid and it doesn't flap around anywhere, as well as it meets up to the shape of this body line right here. And as you can see, um, this door opens and closes with no, no interferences. And it works, so yeah. There's a lot of stuff we still need to do because we struggled for so long trying to get that piece to look right. Um, we still have to take these off, 
cut the car so that this actually can function as well as um, cut the other door fender. So we're gonna start doing all that stuff. I'll show you guys what we mean. So um, yeah, we gotta cut this one right here. So you see this? This has a lot of tension on it to keep its form. As soon as we cut this, like to the shape of the door right here, it's gonna be all up. This is rattle canned, spray painted. So good, it matches the body paint of the car so well. Like you can't even, you couldn't even tell it's a different color. It's so thick. It's time, baby. Time to start cutting. Alright, so we got the metal, first metal sheet. I cut, pulled off, and all we have is the inner wheel well liner. Um, so we're gonna create our stress cuts in here, and we're gonna fold it up, and then we'll cut them off and you know, grind them so that they fit, so it seals it and doesn't, uh, the water gets in there. Right, Alex? Yeah, the water, water. water's bad. Now we got this cut, all these little flaps are all up and now that all that just needs to get done is uh, get tack welded and it's gonna be straight to go. We are making progress. Now this is the stuff I'm very familiar with doing. I know my buddy, we know Jordan right now is sitting at home and he's cringing because I'm using, uh, using cut off wheels to cut cars but it's my favorite thing to do. It's Alex's favorite thing to watch is me cut his car now. Sure is. I love it. All right, so now here comes the hardest part. We have the flare off right here and I need to cut it so that the door can work. And this is the hardest part about it because when we do this, it has no tension on it right now. When it gets on the car, it has tension. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna flex. It's gonna create a gap in between the two panels. So now leveling out the two panels is the hardest part and bolt in your fender flare to its entirety so it gets the most flex that it can after you've cut it so that you know how much you need to add and how much you need to cut off because we made that mistake last time where we left only a few bolts in there and it didn't push it all the way against the panel and then at that point it created a bigger gap than what we needed, so. Okay, so this is exactly what we're talking about. Like when you shut the door, you see how like, there's a little bit of like gaps in between right here, so you have to like brace it so that they meet up together. And we also have to sand this so that the door can open and close nicely. Oh, Alec! Oh my! Jesus! This is what we were talking about. These little metal brackets that we have spaced in here to flex out the flare so that it puts like rigidity behind it as well as like makes it meet up with the other flare when you close it so that it's the same, uh, the same, uh, you know, see how it lines up and the only thing that's the difference is the panel gap for the door. And, uh, yeah. Perfect. This side came out way cleaner. Way cleaner than the other side. All right, so through all the frustration and scares, like we weren't gonna be able to get this kit on right with the doors because it's a whole different ball game when you're wide bodying a four door car. But we were able to cut the door lines or get the seams for the door, door lines so that the doors, they function, they open, they close, they don't get caught. They have the wide body flares on there, they look good. Like so nice. The body panel gap on this one's a little bit bigger than the other side just because that was our first attempt. We really didn't know how it was going to work. And um, yeah, we should have done a little bit more precautions. But come around to this side. It's so sick. So we're going to 
Huge thanks to Monster Service. We're super hyped on how these flares fit. If you guys have a Focus ST, these are definitely the flares to go. The kits that they have for this car, the reason why we didn't do an actual kit kit made for this car is because they're all a little bit funky. They get a little bit funky specifically back here in the rear, and that's because it doesn't really follow like the body line, or it just kind of looks like a little bulge on the side. And right now, this follows the body line up at the top, like where this little hump is. I don't know if you guys can see. And it like seamlessly goes with the body line as well. It follows this floor pan line. Like these are perfect for the ST. So huge shout out to Monster Service. These are their universal fender flares. These are the widest universal fender flares that they have. And um, we're super stoked. We're gonna be ordering the fronts now so we can get the fronts done. We really needed to get these in so we can test fit for the fronts because we didn't know what size we needed. And um, yeah, sick. We are done for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think. If you love it, if you hate it, if you're a Focus ST guy and you're super hyped on this because now you can build your own kit that looks sick. Um, yeah, how Shout you feeling? Shout out to Monster. It looks dope. Thank you guys. Yeah, Monster Service. Hell you guys man. are absolute Gs. These fender flares, they're so easy to work with. They mold to the car super easy. We didn't even need to use any heat gun, no heat, anything, nothing. If they just you put a little bit of effort, just a little bit of pushing on there, and they bolt right on. They fit bodies really nicely. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. We'll catch you guys in the next one. We're out.